if you're a famous internet star, you've still got to bring the bin in. <laughs> it's just not fair, is it? Anyway, after all the excitement of building fish tanks and sticking them on the veranda and all the rest of it, we thought we'd better get and do some proper beekeeping preparation for spring. So we just got some stuff here on the trailer that we're trying to clean up. Just going to give it a bit of a blow over and then it's got to get a fresh coat of paint. So let's go over here and get started and see what we can make a mess at. So we've got ourselves a little flamethrower and I thought we'll just, we're just gonna, we got these old boxes I'm helping Les clean up for his a few bees that he's got that we're giving him a bit of a hand with. Remember old Les, he's a bloke with a truck. Now don't hold the truck against him because that's not the point. Hopefully, hopefully my uncle John's helping me out and he's having a look for a truck which would be kind of cool. We'll see what happens but anyway. There's controversy here in the back borders of the bush bee man between trailers and trucks and Options abounding. The jury's out with this blooming truck buying business, I think. Because of course the problem is the bloke's got too many boxes for the blooming trailer and not enough boxes to justify the truck. But then how do you do, you know, like if you want to get more and you want to get bigger, you need a truck to get bigger to move the boxes that you haven't got. I think I've decided that I'm going to get a truck and then I'm going to get enough bee boxes to justify having the truck. Because that will but of course, the weight is the problem. I had it all in my brain that I was going to get a small truck with a little thing, and then I started adding it up, and I thought, gee, many crickets, if a bee box weighs a certain amount, or 50 to 100 kilos, and you don't get to carry many bee boxes, and then I'd be back to the same problem. So, but to go from another weight range, the price goes from like, I don't know, $10,000 to $30,000. It's like, blue my neck. So anyway, my poor old, poor old budget's looking a little bit different, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, what were we doing? <laughs> That's right, we were cleaning up. You didn't need to hear all about the truck madness. So we're back doing actual beekeeping equipment preparation for spring, because the sun's out, almost. <laughs> and it's not a, hopefully, hopefully we'll have a spring this year, not like last year. There was one little tiny weed that went, and his little flower went, and that was it, and the whole bloody thing was over. So we've got about as much neck to flow to fill on in a teaspoon. Teaspoon in a... anyway. Right, here we go. So we've got some of Les's old bee boxes. Oh, we've got poor old boxes that have been sitting in Les's shed for... I don't know how long, but anyway, they've been in there for a while. And I thought... Being that we're helping out the old bloke, we better clean them up. And he said, you want to get your flame, you know, give them a bit of a flame out, get them ready before you paint them over. I don't know if you remember our little flame throwing thing, I don't know what episode that was in, but it's terribly laborious. It just took so long with my little flames. I might have had a cigarette lighter and I even tried being stupid. I even tried this, it was a little bit trying to be economical. And it obviously didn't work because you're not going to see it, but I got myself a little misting bottle and I filled that full of metho and metho and caro, I think it was, the mixture. I tried petrol, but that was awful dangerous. <laughs> Anyway, and I sprayed it inside the box, and then I threw a match in there and it went, Hoof! but it kind of burnt, but it didn't really achieve too much of the cleaning corners and... Anyway, needless to say, it was unsuccessful, so don't bother with that idea. This is, this is the go. So here we go, this is what I've discovered on this journey of cleaning bee boxes in the coldness of the day. In this journey of winter blooming cleaning up business, God, I'm just looking at my cleaning up shed that we've got to do later on. But anyway, on with the job. So we're trying to get boxes ready for the spring, which hopefully we have a good spring this year. Because I've got a whole heap of new boxes in there from last spring that didn't get used. Oh, come on, Mr. Muscles. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just don't know which way the silly bloody thing's meant to thread. It's meant to go backwards, isn't it? I thought it was that way. Maybe it's not that way. Maybe it's this way. Ah, stop it all you gas people out there that are laughing at me. Oh, got it now. Just because you're watching, that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway, back to the montage. <laughs> Looks a little like the bloody lunar landing, doesn't it? Woohoo! Off to the moon we go! Fuck me! Anyway, this is a this is a bit more of a serious blowtorch. 
I got sick of that other little one, it took forever, so I thought I'll go down the shop and get myself a decent one. And the lad said, oh, this is a weed burner or a tire melter or something. And I thought, hell, hey, hey, that sounds like fun. He reckons it might take your hair off if you point it in the wrong direction. So if you see a shot of the cameraman on Facebook and he hadn't got any hair, he's got in the wrong spot. <laughs> let's, let's clean some shit. I think we're cheating with this thing. They're gonna kill a few bugs, you reckon? <laughs> Killed the paint anyway. <laughs> We're on fire. Note to self, it could actually burst into flames. I just wondered, maybe we should have got about a bucket of water in case it all goes to shit, but help. hope Les isn't watching us. Whoa, look out. Can we just take this base off? I think we'll just do the top to do the, the actual super box while we're at it. <laughs> I reckon the missus would get excited if I took this inside to clean up the spider webs, wouldn't she? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Look out for the curtains. <laughs> I think that's pretty hot. I don't know, man. Golly gosh. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit exciting. Anyway, it definitely speeds the job up. So I don't know if you can see the wax is actually just weeping out of the wood, which is kind of cool. And to be absolutely honest with you, I'm not 100% how super duper clean you're meant to make the jolly things, but I figure it's got to be reasonably better than when we started. That's the main thing. So anyway, so we've actually got something that we can put a paintbrush to to make shit look like it's respectable. We just do that lid, light ourselves back up again. Get that lid organised. Maybe we'll just go through doing one box and then like we've got heaps and heaps to do, so I don't know. We'll have a discussion whether we put on that music or whether we just do one. Enough fun with fire. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that, mum. I've still got all my fingers. How good's that? <laughs> That's a little bit more efficient than my other little Berman burner. I mean, you just gotta make sure that the shit doesn't actually catch on fire too badly. <laughs> Come back and all you'll have is a big pile of ash. That'd be a bit pointless, wouldn't it? <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so. I think the next part of the project is we've got to slap a bit of blooming undercoat on these little supers and these few boxes. But before we do that, we might have to clean a spot because there's been great concern about the fact that my workbench is a bit dirty. And I thought, while well, I've got a hefty young cameraman here, he can help me clean up. What do you reckon, folks? So let's go and get that shit organised.
Well, that looks a bit better. We haven't com we haven't obviously tidied up the shed shed, but anyway, that might happen another day. We're running out of time. This all takes longer than you think. No wonder I don't do it very often. Anyway, on to the next excitement. We've got the boxes ready, cleaned up and burnt off, as you've just seen. And now we're gonna have to slap them with a bit of paint. So I'm thinking that'll be the next thing we do. On with the paintbrush. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry, Leap Roy. There was a vote, and you came up short, lad. The public have spoken, and they've decided that you asked have to be torched. But I don't think it's very fair, but anyway, you know me. I'm all for this whole business that, you know, what do they call that? This is democracy, and the vote fell against you. Ah. <sighs> Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, I'm going to have to face him towards you. I don't think I could do it when he's looking at me. Might be too much. I think, what's he, he's even got a little love heart letter. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's a postman frog. With his little love letter and a little smile. Could you be so mean? Maybe we should have had a picture of him before the vote was taken.